and welcome to another in the Ask the Data Governors Coach video series. And the question I'm going to answer today is, what do I do if I'm not the first person to attempt data governance at my organization? Now, I've had a few messages and emails about this over the last few months, and it's a position that I myself have been in in the past. So I thought it was definitely one worthy of a video. So um, the best people who have sent me the question uh, around this topic ha have been talking about the fact that perhaps they've joined an organization after somebody has started trying to do data governance and either it's not gone very well or the person that, that they've taken over from has already left the organization by the time they get there and there's no handover. Now, I'm afraid I've heard of this an awful lot, so I think it is quite common. Now, yes, of course, this can make it feel extremely challenging to you, but I don't think it's not without its its benefits. Now, if things have gone wrong before and you weren't there, then clearly if you're new in, you're not associated with it now. And also, if perhaps... Um, you haven't had a handover, again, it's a really good opportunity to go and talk to people because regardless of whether you're starting data governance for the very first time or you're trying to pick up the pieces of what somebody else has done before you, what you need to do is get out there, talk to people in the business, understand the business firstly, what it does, what each function does, and then start to understand how do they use data? What challenges do they have because of data? And also understand perhaps what else is going on in, in those departments, whether they're having a transformation program or a new system, because this is all valuable information to help you understand what's the best kind of approach to data governance that will be successful for your organization. Now, if you are taking over and things have gone perhaps not so pleasantly or so well in the past, then I don't think this is necessarily um, you know, a huge problem. I think you've got a great opportunity to go out and ask people about their feelings about the previous attempt. What did they like? What did they not like? What did they feel was going wrong? Because this is going to give you really valuable feedback into the culture of the organization. And perhaps how far you can go at any one time with trying to implement the culture change that is the necessary start of data governance. Now, <clears throat> if you if you didn't get a handover and perhaps things were going quite reasonably well, then again, I think you need to network. Um, and obviously, you know, you, you've got to get your hands on as much information as possible. Find out who was involved in the program, who is still there, spend time with them. Um, but again, go around all the senior stakeholders, get, ask them if you can spend time with their teams and ask them what was going well and what was not going well. Just because it appeared to be going well before you were there doesn't mean that you can't get some really valuable feedback. It'll also give you some insights into what was happening before you got there. So. I do. I, I get from the tones of the messages I've got that um, it, it can make you feel quite it's a scary place to be. in if you're taking over from somebody else and it's either gone wrong before or, or perhaps you don't even know how it went before. But don't be put off. I think the key is get out there. Talk to people. Don't be judgmental because they're not judging you. You haven't done anything. If people want to tell you what was wrong with your predecessor and what was wrong with um, data governance and the way they were doing it, then I would just say, thank you for sharing. It's really good feedback. I'll make sure that we don't do that going forward. So I think <clears throat> this is not necessarily a bad thing. It just forces you to do what you should be doing anyway, going out there and talking to people. So I hope that's given you some ideas. I really hope that is helpful. Get out there, talk to as many people in your organization as possible, and get their feedback on how data governance was going, because that will really help you um, make a decision on what you do going forward to that organization. So good luck. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please like and share this video on your social media channel of choice. I'm on a mission to help as many people as possible be successful with data governance. And it's with your help, I can get that message out to as many people as possible. And if you've got a question you'd like me to answer on a future video, just email it into questions at nicolaascom.com.